Hey everybody, welcome to Legend of Saints Discord, the one and only show where Jables is playing a character and I say offensive things just because I find them funny, not because I actually believe them. Uh... Is there's enough people watching right now to make that announcement make a difference? Eh, whatever. Uh, with me as always, the Rim Sheen Sirs watching. Hello? Yeah, you guys are uh, really picking up the slack. That's a, that's cool. What? I, I think something just happened to Scooter's audio. Yeah. You mean yep. Scooter's aphasia yogurt? <laughs> Go figure, it literally goes out as we start. <clears throat> he sounded like a fax for a fax machine for a minute there. Mm. Anyway, Jables, oh, carry the oh. show. What? What? What do you want to say, Skull? Okay. So. What happened is, Hold my on, old man about to say something. <sighs> God damn it! No, go ahead. We'll 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 deal with skull later. We'll edit it in post. <laughs> so, my old man walks in and starts asking me questions, and I flip my mic up, you know, to mute, so that you guys wouldn't hear that conversation. Unfortunately, there's an issue with my headset that I can't seem to fix. Where, if I flip my mic up to mute myself, sometimes it just mutes the headset permanently until I remove the USB, shut the headset off, put the USB back in, and then turn it back on. That uh, sounds like a firmware okay. issue. Yeah. Yeah. I think that should be covered, so you might, uh, might be able to send it in to get repaired or something. Also, yep. Skull says he is thankful to be alive another year, and thank you guys for being there for him. Oh, Skull. We were never there for you. Yeah. We don't do emotional shit on this show. <laughs> yeah, other than when I have my drunk breakdowns. Yeah. Those are the special shows that no one watches. Yeah. Well, I no, think we're, we're glad you're still around, Skull. Yeah. We're also the... glad Crab is still around. We need someone to punch. Yeah. <laughs> P.S. Fuck you. <laughs> You're one of the five people watching right now. Skull, your Skull, your good heavy bag. Crab's the speed bag. Yeah, I, I don't think oh, that's Oh, and wrong. then everybody just left. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck this. This show sucks. Right. No shit, this show sucks. We're running it. Well, you're the one running it. I'm just here. I only do production. Jabel started this shit. You know, it, it was Skull's <laughs> birthday recently. Should we bring him on? Do we have to? <laughs> Let's say we have to. Let's say we can. Skull yeah. wants to run the show. <laughs> Alright, Skull. Alright, Skull. Pull up OBS. Start running the show. Alright. Do it now so I can... Yep. Spend oh, time with my son. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, hey, I'm not. Hey, connect. Yeah, there's connect here. We now have six. Hooray! Yeah, alright, Skull. Start running the show. Alright, everybody. Find all the articles. Things. 
Find we all the articles. Pop it on OBS. Do I get paid? Wrangle Jables into a uh, out, out of his what drunken are you stupor. About? What we have to do paid. before the show? <laughs> I so oh, sorry. So what I have to do before the show? <laughs> And we're cancelled. Thank you for watching the School of Lesser Saints. Please come again another day. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they come another day if we're cancelled, Nimrod? Oh. I just say Let's thanks. And I hope they're funny. Let's bully skull. Well, it, it's supposed to be lo-fi Canucks, so it's supposed to not quite have a steady rhythm. And sounds slightly as though it's on a messed up, uh, a, a scratchy vinyl or or a uh, wonky tape deck. So you're saying it's intentionally terrible? Yeah. You know that argument and subverting oh, you... expectations really piss me off. <laughs> By the way, uh, Rimshi, could you send me a link to like what lo-fi you're playing so that I can? Uh... Uh, played at the same time for me, so I feel like I'm part of the group. You know, it's like fucking Vice News recently with the Netflix Cowboy Bebop. Maybe it's not supposed to be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Okay. I never thought no, of it like no. that, Vice. Thanks. No, Fuck off. Actually, I don't want you to go live because then I have to hear myself. Maybe. No. No, you don't. Oh, no. No, you figured that out. Oh, sweet. Fucking perfect. He's evolving. Mm -hmm. He's learning. I'm also... extending. Wait. Ignore that last one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say one thing. The Lesser Saints 200 episode will be next year in January 21st. Yep. yep. Yeah. That's when we detonate the nuke. We have to we have That's... to end the show on a bang. I thought we were doing Yeah, that's it. where I that's where I shoot myself a lot. <laughs> what a chocolate gun, right? No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you want to think that way, yeah. It, it it'll be one of those catch up <laughs> condiment guns. Except it's gonna have a darker, more flowy catch up in it. No, and it but, won't look uh, like a catch up gun. <laughs> I'll buy I'll buy a cap gun. That was gonna be just as dangerous. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say I would like not. I would not discharge a cap gun in my mouth. Fuck that shit. Uh, well, have you guys never played with a cap gun? Have you never had a cap? Of gun? course yeah, I have. Again. Cap guns. We've all played with cap guns. If our parents yeah. weren't fucking Puritans, that is. Yeah, there, there's no. Even there's if no, they were, we always no had that threat. one friend who had access. Yeah. There, I think you guys are thinking of blinks like a cap gun. It's just a, it's just a small powder charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that can still so fuck up teeth. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, no, because there's the cap no is barrel in... on the. There's no barrel yeah. on a cap gun. I I have seen and felt some crazy shit with cap guns, man. Now I need to look well, this well, up. What well, type of the, cap well, guns are you talking ones, about? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh! talking like the shitty little revolver with the plastic. Uh, yeah, I know what you're thing. talking about. <laughs> I'm not putting that in my mouth and discharging it. I'll put the barrel in my mouth and discharge it. Gives a fuck. There's a prostitute pistol <laughs> cap gun. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's what? a prostitute Explain. pistol cap gun. What is a prostitute cap. pistol? Usually, uh, weren't, weren't those the uh, nicknames for Derringers? Ooh. There. Which Skull, you have access to the live show. Yeah, that's a Derringer. How did you put it in best of? I'm sorry, I thought I put it in live show, Jesus. <laughs> uh, we give these people too much access. 
Mm. Yeah, it should not be investive. Take that out. Put that over there. Yeah, a prostitute pistol is just a derringer or a very tiny revolver. Here's the thing. I had a keychain of that once. I had a keychain of some guy's balls once. I think his name was Charlemagne. <laughs> really? You have Charlemagne the Gods' balls? Not Charlemagne the Gods, just Charlemagne. Oh. Uh, wow. Well, Jesus well. Christ, look at this cap gun. Why are we on the subject of cap guns? That's not Sorry, a cap this one gun. Comes with bullets. That's not a cap gun. <laughs> That's a cap gun. <laughs> That's not a cap gun. No. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I can tell by looking that that thing's made out of fucking plastic. <laughs> uh, That's a true po prostitute pistol. It'll cost you, but it will go bang. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, yeah, Daddy, I'm talking, this is what I'm I talking want for about Christmas. this. Yes, I, I'm aware, Jables. We we were both aware of what you were talking about. Well, apparently Skull wasn't aware. I was aware, actually. Obviously not. Well, then why'd you bring up prostitute pistols? Because I was looking at the different type of cap guns. Then where the fuck did prostitute that. pistol okay, so come from? He wants from? to know how to disarm them. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to pay his first hooker. Got it. Shh. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. If they're wearing hooker boots, there's a gun in there. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> this has been your prostitution safety tip. If they're oh, not so wearing they hooker boots, belt, the gun's there's elsewhere. There's a gun there as well. Yeah, you should just assume everybody has a gun nowadays. No, no. Depends on where you live. In California, it's safe to assume that uh, anyone who looks respectable is going to be an easy target. Well, uh, like, New York has a weird situation where you can assume everybody has a gun, but everybody's still rude as shit. <laughs> That's a weird combo. I don't understand it. Oh, I kind of want to talk about this article now. Jeez. And if you break into What's somebody's on? car and they see it as no big loss, it might be Seth Rogen. Oh. <laughs> he he can be entertaining, but he's a shit person. <laughs> oh, it's a video. I like I like Pineapple Express, and I like uh, I like Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, like I said, he can be entertaining. But he's also a shit person. Oh, I've been broken into 15 times over the last five years I've lived here. Or some shit like that. That's why I don't keep anything important into my car. If I think... Oh, I, didn't it, even, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, okay. Well, he was, I got he was, yeah, we gotta bring up the tweet now. Oh, oh. <laughs> He was responding to Casey Neistat, which already yeah, is someone Seth, I Seth don't Rogen care about. Seth Rogen also abandoned his best friend James Franco, just on allegations, which might be true or false, regardless. But if either of you two were me too, I'm, I mean, I'd stand behind you. Still a good guy. I like being. Let's be. He did some. Let's be. Shit. Let's be honest with our shows, Jables. You're the one that's going to get me too. <laughs> um, I would say yeah, but that's that's not gonna happen because I haven't done anything me tooable. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> neither of either of us. Shame, I'm just saying that you're more likely. Enough. Yes, I am the most likely to be me too. That is fair. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, no, there was that one chick. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wait, no, yeah, I, might I remember now. Let's see see how well readable this is. 
Okay. The big text, I'm, yes, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just make it bigger. I'm blocking us for a second, boys. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> he so literally I says Rob this morning because Los Angeles is a crime-riddled third-world shithole of a city. But tremendous appreciation and gratitude to the hardworking officers at LAPD West LA who not only arrested the motherfucker, but they got all of our stolen goods back. Dude, yay. I've lived here for 20, Dude, years. 20 years. You're nuts. <laughs> You're nuts. It, I'll read it. Don't worry. It's <laughs> lovely here. Don't leave anything valuable in it. It's called living in a big city. Okay, it's so nice. I can still be mad though, right? I feel so violated. You could be mad, but I guess I don't personally view my car as an extension of myself. And I've never really felt violated any of the 15 or so times my car was broken into. Once a guy accidentally left a cool knife in my car, so if it keeps happening, you might get a little treat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to look at it. Can can we say that he Seth Rogen has smoked himself retarded? Yeah, yeah. That there's a good chance. Cause that it, whole exchange it, was fucking stupid. Oh, it's uh it, it's a special kind of dumb. Right. Yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen, you've lived there 20 years and your shit's been robbed like 15 times. That's almost once a year. Your shit yeah. gets robbed. At least 15 times. And, no. and Seth Rogen, you have enough money, I know you live in a good area on top of that. Yo, after so the, your shit's getting your shit's broken still, into. Still getting robbed. Like, honestly, if like, after the third or fourth time, I would be probably putting in better insecurity in the car. Or just take I'd all my stuff out of the car. i place to live. Yeah, well, no, I would be moving the fuck out of there. In there like you said. Don't so leave like, your if... valuables in there. Leave it unlocked so they don't bother... Bre leave, it, leave it unlocked and leave the door open so they don't bother breaking the windows, man. Yeah, leave a blank registration transfer in there so that uh, they can send their own name to it and then now they own your car. Sorry, yeah. I broke into <laughs> your man. car. Here is my insurance info. After the fucking second time I have to replace a fucking window and like lose everything that's in my car, I'm getting the fuck out of LA. Fuck this place. At least they didn't go roadhouse on it. Not that I could afford to live in LA to fucking begin with. Not that he could go Roadhouse on it. It's Seth Rogen. <laughs> Not Kevin Bacon. Yeah, fucking Seth Rogen couldn't do a Roundhouse kick if you gave him rocket boots. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick Swayze. Also, Not I, I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking Footloose. <laughs> Uh, I I don't know. I I'm thinking Seth Rogen could really take advantage that his name is so similar to Joe Rogan, and start selling out theaters, and just have people be extremely disappointed that they bought tickets <laughs> to Seth Rogen instead. Rogan of Joe here at our <laughs> home theater. <laughs> Feels like oh yeah, we're gonna see Joe Rogan get the theater. It's like oh, who's this fuck? Yeah, I've seen Seth Rogen stand up. Is that as far as we have to go on that? He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no further commentary. <laughs> you know, recently he <laughs> he's getting backlash after downpaying a YouTuber. What? Yeah, what? I saw it on YouTube today. No. Like, a YouTuber was getting, like, a... 
Game downplaying. Downplaying? Downplaying? The fuck are you talking about, Skull? I'll describe the Say words. Yeah. Use English. There, that's we know you we, we know you were learning it. <sighs> oh no, yeah, that's what we just talked about, that twin area action. Yeah. yeah Casey Dystat is you a just YouTuber a BuzzFeed in question. Video. You just posted a BuzzFeed video about what we just talked about. I didn't recognize the name because I don't know that YouTuber. Thank you for yeah, joining Casey the Neistat. Thank you for joining the conversation, Skull. Five minutes <laughs> late. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. It's a fun, real fun time. I will uh, point don't out. Don't worry, it's not like anyone watches days, this so. show anyway. Oh, there's like eight people here. What are you talking about? We got Kanak. And four of them are us! <laughs> Kanak is always here, though. Yeah, but I love Kanak. Yeah, I do too. It's one of my besties. You know what? Kanak, just for you tonight, I'm going to wear my BKB jersey on the show later. <laughs> BKB. Yeah. Black cock boys. <laughs> well, no, it's probably not basket, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh Canuck, the only the only problem is I gotta find it. I don't know where it's at. Canuck, come on the show with me. No. Oh wait uh, skull. Hold the fuck on. Who the fuck do you think you are where you can just start inviting people on? <laughs> Who the fuck do I do I think I am where I can restrict people from inviting people on? The showrunner. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that is what I am. Oh shit. I have power, right god damn law. it! You could tell him you should try and get on the show with me. There's a far cry from hop on here, bitch. Yeah. Please. He's not coming on. I don't see him All in right, the waiting every, room. Everybody in the audience, go find a fun flat earther. Oh yeah. Is, is Toma out of prison yet? <laughs> Is it too late to not get arrested? Well, if you're in prison, it's way too late, Skull. <laughs> the arresting kind of already happened. Yeah, fun fact. Uh... You know, I keep thinking about that. We actually got somebody arrested. <laughs> you ruined a man's life. It was no, worth no, no. it. He was ruining his own life. Yeah. He was. It, if it wasn't us, it would have been someone else. Underage girls. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was cooking meth and trying to hook up with underage girls. And bragging he, he about it. He was ruining his own life. He yeah. also he he also claimed that he could kick my ass. <laughs> Oh, so we offered so to fly you know. him to Seattle. A mutual combat state. Wait a minute, I think I know this. Story. So that he and I could fight. And he, he his, his main argument against was, I need to train. Yeah, I, need to, I, I need to train up a bit first. But if you fly down here to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, fucking New Zealand. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we could do we it at any one of the dojos. We wanted to fly him. Okay, let's be very clear. We wanted to fly him to Washington State because there are mutual combat laws so that you guys could just fight as long as you two agree to it. That's it. And we were going to pay for it. Where... We were going to pay for his ticket and his hotel room and his food. Yeah. And you know what? He bitched out. <laughs> Internet tough because... guy confirmed. <laughs> he 
He looked like a shitty Ronald McDonald, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to post some pictures to pull up on screen? No, no, let's not, let's not go there. I mean, you can put them in live show, I'm not gonna put them online. <laughs> no. Not worth it, then. Yeah. Aww. Put it in general. Well, no, because I, like, I have to dig through, like, this is, like, three years ago, phone pictures. <laughs> that I got, so. <sighs> you know, I think I was still living at the apartment complex when that happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were. Oh, man, it's been a while since we talked about Tomo. Yeah. Mm. We that definitely haven't been able to that... talk to him, that's for sure. <laughs> Isn't that the same one that was arguing with Barr about martial arts? Uh, that's possibly. been multiple. I don't know, he's, he's that retarded. Yeah. It's a possibility, but he claimed that he could single handedly whoop a Marine's ass, and then when I revealed that I'm a Marine, he, he, he basically backed the fuck down while still posturing. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, in yeah, the classic we're... tough guy that can't do shit mentality. Yeah, I, I offered to film all of it for, like, content and stuff like that. He'd get half the revenue. If there was any. <laughs> there wasn't going to be any revenue. That would be the funniest part. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, we offered to fly him out, pay for his hotel, and, you know, the, them fight specifically in Washington State because of the mutual combat laws. <laughs> but he wanted Rimshi to go down there and fight him. Which makes no sense. Um, no, he wanted sense if no. he wants to, he wanted if to he charge wants to win. with assault. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense if he wants to charge me with assault. He also wanted me to pay for my ticket. Yeah. Like, we would have well, called the cops. We'll we have a good clean fight. I'll ref it. Yeah. We, we probably would have called the cops and been like, hey, mutual combat. Can you judge? <laughs> yeah, no, that's actually one of the really fun things about this state is that if you engage in mutual combat, you can ask a cop to ref for you. <laughs> it's it's fucking wild. I love it. <laughs> I wonder how often it happens. Mutual combat all the time. Um, well, actually, because of the mutual combat laws, a lot of fights do not happen in Washington State. Hmm. Yeah, because you know, a lot of you, people you when you actually it's like, okay, motherfucker, let's go. It's like, yeah, uh, I, I got something else to do. Yeah, uh, yeah, so if you engage in a fight, like, you're accepting a fight, and you, there's no legal repercussions, and so, like, there's no insurance claims that you can do, you can't sue somebody, they can't be, yeah. they can't be arrested for assault, so a lot of fights do not happen because the mutual combat laws exist. Interesting. Yeah, I guess yeah. You know, you there's a somebody... lot of people that'll get into fights and get their ass beat and then try and fucking get litigation afterwards. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You that. give the ability someone to fight and they choose not to fight. Yeah. So a lot of the uh, armed supply and armed society is a polite society. It's yeah. kind of along those lines, but yeah. That can uh, be argued. Yeah, I it, would argue in favor of it, but it's totally a stance that can be argued, just to be clear. Yeah. Um, I I am in... in... Oh, uh, in, anybody here in the audience, uh, join the Discord and pop in if you are against the uh, mutual combat laws. Because I think that's a fun argument to have. Or, you know, there, there's also... If you're, uh... 
if you're against a uh, armed society is a polite society in general. Um, I personally think you know, like people that have agreed to terms and want to fight should be able to fight. Mm -hmm. Let them fight. Yeah, well, that's that's what the that's what the laws are here. Is uh, it has to be fisticuffs. Yeah, no weapons. That's not yeah. fair. Yeah, it's no Boring. weapons. It's it, it's just barehanded. Yeah. Grand, I always argue that there's no such thing as a fair fight. You can get close to fair, but it's never going to be truly fair. The closest thing to a fair fight is a fight where terms are agreed <clears throat> upon ahead of time. That's basically it. Yeah. Well, and I, well, I, I also find it really funny. That almost all men are just like, no hitting in the balls. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the only no time that's permitted on, is in a life or death fight. Only yeah. time. Oh yeah, in in a life or death, in a life or death fight, I'm going double knuckle, thumb deep in your eyeball. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. in a life or death fight. There are no rules. There's only survival. Yeah. You 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 bite off his dick. That's fair in a life or death fight. What? As yeah. long as you walk away. Yeah. Or at least Go. limp away. Uh, that's my whole thing. Is that you know, if it ever comes down to you or me. I pick me. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'll pick you. It depends on the day. <laughs> sometimes I'm a little sad. Hey, there's a Canuck <laughs> in the waiting room. Yeah. Yeah, should we bring him in? Canuck! And his audio again. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I just couldn't... I was muting the stream. Ah. Yeah. 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 What's happening? I must. Talking about beating people's asses and not getting yep. sued for it. See, that's such a weird thing for me because that's not the way it works up here. Well, you are in Canada land, so. It's true. Yeah, you, yeah, you have a lot wait, more I... to worry about from polar bears. It's true. Yeah, but can I, <laughs> what do you what do you think about mutual combat laws? Like two people agree to fight. No, I'm fine with that. We're and not going to the degree of dueling. Dueling is very different. Yeah. Like if and you're I'm if you're fine. dueling with swords, you you can make an argument for that. But pistol what, dueling? What, no, what, no. Once you bring weapons into the into the picture, that's a very different story. Well, that's I'm why I said about, you could make I'm an argument for it. Yeah, I, no, I'm talking about just straight up, like, uh, we're just going to throw fisticuffs in the streets. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. Although I yeah. I think we should be bringing back dueling with swords, but that's just a preference thing. What happened to the well, good old no, days I, of having a switchblade and just chaining each other's arms together? That, what do you mean the good old what? days? Man, Skull, you are you are bringing a lot of factors into this that, <laughs> that are out of left field. Who the fuck changed themselves to their enemy who has a switchblade? Like, what what fucking logic is there? You're just trading kidney that's, blows at that point. Those are that's just a losing proposition for That's both just sides. trading ki that's trading kidney blows at that point. What the fuck do you expect to happen? Oh, I'm gonna survive by blocking every one of his switchblade attacks while simultaneously gutting him with mine. What do you want to do with that? Well, I mean, I'm learning a lot more about Skull than I did last it's week. It's entertaining. <laughs> yeah. entertaining. Entertaining to who? Goddamn. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe he's got something here. <laughs> well, no, uh, like, no, like, death row prisoners. No, 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 death row prisoners. Instead of the, <laughs> if you're dealing with blades, it's a very different situation. Like, I would rather have my right arm chained to somebody else's, uh, like, 
right arm or left arm or whatever and just start like throwing punches while we're chained together instead of blades you when you blade when you bring blades into the mix that's a fucking problem all right here's a okay no blades when it just comes, fights here's Fist. a fact when it comes to knife fights you're not coming away uncut period group yeah you're gonna need stitches yeah, I or learned staples. that the first time I disarmed yeah, like... somebody. You're gonna There's get just cut. no way around it. Yeah, yeah, no way around it. If you somehow manage to not get cut in a knife fight, any knife fight, that's not because of how fight. good you are. That's because of how bad and how... Poorly, they decided that that they would fight. Yeah, I, w I was lucky the knife I went up against was dull, so it just cut my coat up a little bit. Yeah. Like, you know, like, there's a reason I, and that's, why... That's being, that's being lucky. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> a reason so... why police officers, if there's somebody with a knife, they go for their gun instead of the taser, because you don't want to get into a fucking knife fight. No. Would... Any time you're involved with the knife, you're gonna get cut. It takes exceedingly high levels of skill to fight dagger to sword. But you can do that. Knife fight? No, you're straight up getting cut. Baton. Yeah, I, I have a scar no. on my hand. Baton! To to take the knife if you me. have a baton and they have a knife, you're still getting cut! Yeah, you're getting cut. Period. It, it might not be a deep cut. It might not be like a significant cut. You're getting cut. Yeah. Like if you are now, to be if fair, you find yourself actively in a knife fight, something <clears throat> has gone fucking pear shaped. To be fair, we yeah. are talking modern day knife fighting. Back in the day, they had this little thing called armor, and it could help protect you. Help. <laughs> Help yeah. is the key word there. That's the thing. It's like most modern day bolt vests ain't gonna help you. Not I, I have okay. A, Not I have a lot. A, I have a buddy. He got held up at knife point at the gas pump, and he's he's dumb. He knows two things: picking up women and martial arts. Those are the only two things he knows. Oh, boy. He still got cut the fuck up <laughs> while he was trying to defend himself, and then he he took that knife and stabbed the other person in the chest. But he his arms were cut the fuck up. He had stitches all over. Yeah, if you're smart, you're gonna turn it so that the fleshy side of your your forearm is towards you when they're slashing. Because yeah, you he, can do better with cuts to that side than you can to the other side. Yeah, he he trains special forces. That's that's like his level of martial arts. And he still got cut the fuck up. <laughs> like, but you know, like if if Baro was here, it's just like, oh, you know, like that's that's not comparable to like fighter martial arts. But that that would be a bar argument. I'm not gonna make it for him. <laughs> Matt, I, no, I wonder he, if we should try a, summoning it, the bar. It was self. It was self defense. I like talking to bar about self defense. Yeah, yeah. I him, it was clear self defense. Bar is wrong on several points. He's got more experience <laughs> with knives, but even he will say that if you're in a knife fight, uh, unless the other guy is a fucking idiot and has no idea what they're doing, and manages to just miss completely and you get fucking lucky you're gonna end up getting cut well no e even that guy that had no idea what he was doing still got some cuts on my buddy's forearms <laughs> and it was yeah. just like no like there's so many factors and then the most important one is you get fucking lucky beyond all reason yeah 
And that was a fight that only had one person with a knife in it, and both of them still got cut. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of them got stabbed. Uh, Close enough. He's. I, I assume. I assume he didn't walk away from that. Uh, no, he's dead. <laughs> That's what I meant by walk away. <laughs> yeah. Are we? Or, never mind. Yes, I told you guys about a killing that my friend did. Yes. Justified though. Mm-hmm. And self-defense. Yeah. It was him or that dude at that point. Yeah, it was, uh... Had to give him a lot of hugs for him to get over that. Not surprised. Yeah. yeah. It takes a special kind of person to be able to handle that inc that kind of incident without needing help. And usually that kind of person is not the kind of person that uh, you want to talk with <laughs> yeah he he didn't usually to... there are exceptions yeah he didn't admit to actually killing that person until like six months later but we all knew you know yeah so by the way if you have a friend that goes through a situation like that give them all the love and support because it, it makes a massive difference in how they're going to carry on the rest of their life. Do not ask them what it's like to kill, either. Never no. Ask. no. No, no, no. Just smoke weed with them and give them hugs. That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> most, of the con most of the time, they're gonna need it. With the very rare exception that won't need that and can just move on those people are few and far between and they're usually and, and more often than not they're the kinds you don't want to be around anyway yeah yeah after after that situation uh we we started doing hug parties with my group of friends where somebody would just yell out hug party and then we'd all just like have a big old group hug um <laughs> but it was a lot for that guy because like he was different after to not situation. single him out while still giving him support yeah 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 taking a life changes you and, and it doesn't just change you it changes the friends around you yeah i yeah. don't know from personal experience i have never taken a life i will say straight up right now um, but I do know of people who have had to take lives. Hell, one of my instructors, uh, in the mechanic school when I was in the military, he nearly had to shoot a child while, while, uh, on foreign soil. And he was so happy when, when one of the infantry guys tackled the kid and he didn't have mm -hmm. to. Hey, Larry. Hey, Larry yeah. here. Hey, Larry's in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, the anyway. that's a rough story. It's not mine to tell, really, but I can give a brief overview. But yeah, it, even the thought of coming to the conclusion, I am ready to do this. I am going to do this. Will fuck you up. Well, for my for my buddy, it was it was a lot of I have done this. I don't want to tell my friends because I don't want them to view me differently. And that was a rough thing for him to go through when he actually. Yeah. No, said I, I what totally happened. get that. And it's very different compared to being in the military where this is a very real possibility and could be something you're expected to do. Um, yeah, or being at a gas pump and somebody pulls a knife on you and you turn it back on them. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just do a. Situations. I'll just do a brief overview. He, he, he he's, is or was a crew chief. And uh, they came in for a landing to drop off some infantry. And the infantry piled off. And this, uh, these two Afghanistan or Iraqi parents. Af Afghani or Iraqi. I don't know which it was. But they sent their kid to, uh, to go board the plane thinking, oh, <clears throat> he'll, he'll have a better life elsewhere. Because apparently that's what they do over there. Um, I don't say that with any 
knowledge-based authority, but apparently that's what this couple thought. And the kid's running up in a puffy jacket. Well, Ooh. they've yeah. also you. Oh. They've also used kids in that situation as bomb carriers. Yeah. So um, everyone's on yeah. high alert instantly. Yeah. He yeah. he had his he had his sidearm trained on this kid, and he had basically concluded, "I have to do this." And he was just about to pull the trigger when an infantryman that they had just dropped off tackled the kid. Hey, little, and it turns out to... it turned yeah it turns out that the kid was not a bomb carrier. But could you imagine if he had? I, I mean, he would have done it for the right reasons. But could you imagine yeah. what he would have been like if he had to pull that trigger? Holy yeah. fuck! Hey, As it was, he was different. Little tip to all of our Middle Eastern fans: If you want to send your kid to like go and have a better life and just like be embraced by the Americans, uh, send them naked. <laughs> 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 you know, That's the moral of the story they would I'd feel that they, they would feel <laughs> less. <laughs> I don't think that makes anything better, but it makes it less so deadly. Them and shelter them. Yeah. <laughs> like, clearly, yes. you're not being yes. taken uh, care uh, of Mid here. Middle Eastern people, send us your naked children. The Catholics <laughs> will love. Them. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Larry! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even our president, Crazy Uncle Joe, well, well uh, yeah. he's right on board. He'll uh, meet them personally. What, have I said anything offensive tonight? Nah, I don't think so. I think um, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, one of my um... we we've said plenty offensive already. Yeah, uh, our, our apparent yeah. nightly disclaimer: these are the jokes, people. Yes, so I, I, I I am playing a character. I am not actually. Racist. <laughs> so um, maybe trying to like cap this off, I guess. So. One of my favorite movies is Unforgiven. United we stand, united we come. Yeah. And there's a line <laughs> from Clint Eastwood's character in that movie that kind of puts it very succinctly, I think. Are you talking about El Camino? No, I'm talking about Unforgiven. Oh, I thought you were talking yeah. about an El Camino where he talks about all these... And that's Gran Torino. Oh, yeah, sorry, Gran Torino, whatever. <laughs> El Camino oh, is that other movie, not by not by Clint Eastwood, <laughs> where it's all very much everyone gets along, there's no conflict ever, the movie goes on for two hours, we're done. <laughs> but the line, the line is, it's a hell of a thing killing a man. Take away all he's got and all he's ever going to have. Hmm? For legal reasons, that's a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. That's a little late, don't you think? <laughs> late, Probably could have used that after the uh, naked children. <laughs> you, you say a little late, I say right on time. <laughs> right on top or right on time? Who's the comedian here? Hey, well, what? Well, definitely not you. Oh, Jesus Christ, you fucking whore. <laughs> Go fuck your mother. Nah. I'll leave that to my dad. Alright, if he insist. I think most people would. <laughs> <laughs> Only Chris Chan insists on doing it himself. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. No, this one clip from Nick. I'm trying to find. <clears throat> to win your mom, MP3. <laughs> so, um. Uh. 
I saw something interesting in Red Dead Redemption 2 today. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Floppy dong. I, I couldn't fucking segue it, so I just decided to throw it in. Screw you. Because that's real anyway. conversation, people. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love how, like, even though I've played this game quite a bit, every time I play it, like, it seems like I still discover new things about the game. So I'm, like, walking through this, like, little town, and, like, there's, like, this guy that I shot and killed, like, earlier in an engagement. As I'm walking back through that section of town, I see that there's three pigs, and they're fucking eating him. Nice. And, like, they've got, like, blood on their snouts and everything. It's like, holy shit! It checks out, but... Damn. Now that's some attention to detail. <laughs> Larry, yeah. Larry, I just uh, I sent you a link for a music video. I hope you enjoy that. I know Canuck enjoys it. Oh, it's way better than it ought to be. We got the news. <laughs> yeah. Um. How have we so gone nearly an hour do without do an article? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Nor am I. Yeah. This is fun. Is Did it? you guys have to deal with any fucking Black Friday traffic today? Oh, I didn't go outside. <laughs> I'm not going to shit. Uh, cause, um, I went and got no two new jackets, a uh, new pair of shoes, and a... Uh, uh, don't tread on memes, Patch. Oh, yeah, I, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, about two minutes, 45 seconds in, Larry, you'll really discover that it is your shit. Yeah, I was out because I was getting some stuff for my grandmother, and I got to this one intersection, and it probably took me the better part of five minutes just to get through that area, because... Everybody and their inbred cousin is trying to get to the super target. Not even Walmart. Fucking Target. Ugh. I think my son you wants wanted? whiskey. <laughs> I'm jealous. We think he's teething. Whiskey. Yeah, rub some whiskey on his gums. You know the old, old, uh, how's the old wives' tale that actually has uh, the the old housewife remedy, whatever the fuck term it is. Yeah, yeah, they say it numbs the gums. What I think you should really do is just get some cocaine and then rub that on his gums because I don't really <laughs> numb it up. <laughs> no, it's like all it's... right, nobody's laughing. All right, fuck you guys. Like, oh, we, we, we all like know. chopped liver. <laughs> we all know the mechanism behind it. You know, fucking alcohol dulls the pain receptors. Yeah, and cocaine is a numbing agent. It used to be used as a local anesthetic. Yeah. Come on, get on. Before the floor. we realized that it could cause people's hearts to explode in too large quantities. Yeah, yeah. You just you just do a little bit, just a little bit. Just a side note. Wait, wait, I just what? also, it's highly addictive. <laughs> just a, just side, a note. side note. I just sneeze and my eyes twitching now. Just a side note. Skull just shit himself. Yeah, that's the cocaine. <laughs> just an extra side note. Skull's a pussy. Just an extra side note. I'm naked. Yeah. Ew. Extra <laughs> side note. So am I. Sword fight! Oh. <laughs> you wanna cross our streams? <laughs> that ain't cool. A side note addendum to your side note. Yeah, I've got nothing to add. <laughs> yeah, Larry, Larry, what did you think about that song and that music video? I'm a big fan of the, uh, the tiny mic with the little hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just a side note, ew. <laughs> but 
By the way, anybody else is curious about the music video I sent Larry? There you go. Jables is a horrible person. Yeah, but you already knew that. Yeah, Larry Seal of approval. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Quentin knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was like literally the first thing I watched this morning. That was how my day started. Yeah. Well, then I we've got you at like well, seven in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we've got. I. You know, I also kind of like uh, Y2K's picture that he posted in shit posting in the community. Oh yeah, Eskimo cowboy cats. Um, showed me them. No, Eskimo not Eskimo Cowboy. Cowboy. It's Eskimo oh, Cowboy. Boy. Eskimo Cowboy. Sorry. He's a male prostitute. Hmm. Anyways, catch Give the man me some respect. I like him. Actually, uh, hey, Rimchi, do you give a shit if we get a copyright strike on this? I, yeah, I have to because that's my job. Nah, okay. Rimshi having to play the responsible one, as hilarious yeah. as that is. <laughs> <laughs> it would be if I was getting well, paid Larry, enough. Larry, if we get if we get like a full copyright strike, like we can't stream next week. Yeah. Yeah. It's my job That's to keep Jables point. in check. The show is not my job. Jables is my job. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, two black guys and a rabbi walking... God down. damn it, Jables! <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, I haven't heard this joke yet. Shut up, Skull. <laughs> Speaking of rabbis, I did watch the, uh, the, new, the new South Park uh, made-for-TV movie. I good? haven't seen it yet. Is it any good? I say watch it. Alright. Yeah. You know, Jables, as We're a black Hebrew Israelite, I am offended by that. Uh, spoiler alert. Wait. Uh, say that again, Rimshi. I said, as a black Hebrew Israelite, I am offended by that. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Cartman becomes a rabbi. Not that, the joke! <laughs> yeah. yeah um... Other things that people should watch, um, I recommend if you can see it, go see the new Ghostbusters. Oh, the new Ghostbusters? Really? Yeah. Yep, Ghostbusters Afterlife. A bunch of that was filmed right by my Ten minutes away from my city. Mm. Really? Yeah. So the setting of this movie is Oklahoma, but you're telling me it was filmed in Canada. Interesting. Yep. Can I please tell me I can see you in the background somewhere? No, Larry. We're not talking. <laughs> we're, we're we're not talking the all female cast Ghostbusters. No, we're not. We're not talking about that abomination that came out in 2016. No, Ghostbusters Afterlife, the brand new. Yeah, this one was written, well, it was like co-written and directed by Jason Reitman, who is the son of Ivan Reitman, who directed the first movie. Yeah. It's very much. Um, it's very much a love letter to the fans. The fan service is a little heavy-handed at times, though. Can it's I like ask one of the gripes something? that I have about it? Wait, I want, oh, hold the fuck on, cats. If you think Rimshi and I won't kiss, you're dumb. If you think Jables and I haven't kissed, <laughs> we have kissed, haven't we? Yeah, if I remember right, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've I think my you. wife was the one who dared us. Yeah, and you and I don't. You and I are the type of people that don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. It's fine. It's all just bromance. It was. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, the uh, night. It, wasn't... it was. It was the night that Pav was fucking drunk off his ass. Well, I did kiss Pav too that night. Yeah. 
To be fair, I think Pav was in a state where he would have kissed anyone. Uh, well, except that fucking cigarette girl. God damn, he really missed an opportunity there. Yeah. I guess it worked out in the long, long run, but god damn. Uh, did, like... uh, yeah, did, uh, this, did Miss Rimshi take a picture of you and I kissing? No. Mm. All right, we'll have to do it again. Get a picture. <laughs> I have to ask on it, sir, before we get off the topic of Ghostbusters too quickly. Mm. Are they anyway? On moving on from one? Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. What show? Yeah, do go you think go, you're go on, ahead, Skull. <laughs> Are they planning on making another one after this one? I don't know. Yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to. I'd have to watch it to see if they're putting. If it. this is the last one, like if this does end up being the last one, I'd be fine with it. Fair enough. You know what? Rimshot, I like it. I like it better I than Ghostbusters. Be funny, too. I think it would be a funny enough bit if I just flew down there and just gave you a kiss. <laughs> 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 Just for casting lady to just, you yeah, know, because she needs that motivation. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking about Tumblr now? <laughs> I haven't heard that word in so long. Yeah, Fifty Shades of Gay. I like that. <laughs> Lesser Saints of Erotica. I, I mean, still haven't if seen if the original cut. Man. Yeah, cats, you you underestimate how far I'll go for a bit and how far Miss Rimshi will let Rimshi go for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> she does have her limits, so there are things we can't tell her. Nothing, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll text her. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, no, the kiss is fine. Bro, We're talking about you. the other stuff. <laughs> I've got the sales pitch all worked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. she bring Miss Rimshi on for a second. All right, Han. Jables wants to talk to you on the show for a minute. I'll take care of the baby. I think it. Re you guys can still hear me, right? Yeah. 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 Hello. Hi, dear. Welcome hey, to the show, Miss Rimshi, who is like Rimshi, but better. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go really far with Rimshi for a bit. Real cool with that. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> See? See, audience? I told you. Just, just make sure he comes home on time, and it'll all be good. Well, he'll come wherever he wants to. <laughs> 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 it's for that's, a bit. It's that's for a sound. Bit. Okay. That sound just now is just like, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the sound Rimshi, of regret. It's just for a bit. It's just for a bit. <laughs> this is the worst of all the times, Jables. This is the worst one. Out of, I can tell already. I don't even know. Yeah. But it's the worst out of all the things you've ever asked me over the years. I think the best part is I'm only getting. Well, hit no, it, yeah. It, 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 I think it's just as bad as the time about I asked you about it. I think it's at that level. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right then. Yeah. I'm <laughs> find out for myself, though. I'm going to tell you why that was so funny <laughs> to me. Because. <laughs> 
that is a cell <laughs> of a Marine's wife. It's the same cell my mother makes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the <They're laughs> That the, sound of disappointment. The it's disappointment like, uh, in her uh, voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, skull's officially been broken. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> no, uh, alright. So, Mrs. Room, she approved. Uh, room, she and I are gonna get a nice motel room. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> Damn, oh, tables. my head hurts. Couldn't, e couldn't even spring for a hotel, you cheap. Yeah, but did you see <laughs> how <fast> that shit? <laughs> oh, that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I no, took I, Addy to I, a I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Saying. Rimshee. Do you have a problem with, this, with anything? It was a very no. cheap hotel. Is that all? But... <laughs> no, not at all? All right. Yeah, just make sure he doesn't like bring home like bed bugs or anything. You know? Oh, yeah, of course. No, oh, no, no, no. man, that's happened to me once. Why can't he be here? Oh, Jables and you can do a thing here. I just don't really want to be here while it's happening. So me and Tate are going to go, like, get drinks well, you, or something. You, yeah, you guys have a gas room, right? We'll just do it. Yeah, there. that's where that's where Rimshi has his office. Oh, oh, even better. That's, that's yeah. the, it's all that's in the room one room. Sliding glass door so that we can... Yes, it's like he planned then... this. It's get his some rate desk room. action. Yeah. All right, get some, all right. Get some desk get action it. going here. Yeah, Rimshi, let's cook up some meats and like, uh, you know, cook up some meats. Jables <laughs> wants to cook up some meats with you, dear. Yeah. I'll give you back to him now. Cooking up some meats. Cooking up some meats. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, Rimshi, your wife, your wife approves. Well, then, I, I know what we have to do. Also, your wife broke me. <laughs> yeah. How'd... <laughs> How'd she break you, Skull? The, the, the disappointment in her voice automatically clicked in my head. It, yep, that is a Marine's wife. Because it's the same disappointment. My mom gives my dad sometimes. Mm. Mm. Okay then. All right. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think Mrs. Rimshi wanted to be on the show that much. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I started talking about you coming anywhere you want. Um, That's the God damn it, Jables! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to say that live! <laughs> you said the quiet part out loud again! <laughs> what? I, I already rubs told the lotion to your on the scanner cool else against the hose again. She literally <laughs> just said we'll use the guest room. Yeah. Let's cook some meats. I'll cook your meat. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not doing the consensual cannibal thing, are we? Uh, no. No. I think we have Good. an article about that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Actually, I, I did have a, a cannibalism article, but, you know. Dankula did a mad lad on him. Oh, this is such a great night. I'm glad you're having a skull. And I'm glad every everybody in the audience. Are you guys having a good night? Because that is shitty Thanksgiving, so if everybody's having oh, a that's good time, I'm really happy. Let's just think of this, Jables. I got a game. Nox got a game. You got a game. And we can play tomorrow. You've got a gay skull? Game! game. Rim, she get your head out of the gutter. Or get your head out that of the Where do you Jables. think my head exists? Just once in your life. Get your head out of Jables. Yeah, I bought, uh. Yeah. My I head's not skull, in Jables right? yet. I bought skull. <laughs> I bought skull. I bought Scully, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, cool. I don't have that. You don't have it? I'll buy it for you. I probably won't ever play it either. Negative yeah. influence.
Yeah, that's right, Sean. It's up my own ass. That's right next great. to the stick. Larry, have you been practicing on uh, Mario Kart? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> How's you that know, going, Larry? Can we have a Mario tournament in Jables versus no. Larry? Uh, that's already no, planned. That, that, yeah, that's already, that's already planned. Yeah. So you're going to... Uh, Larry, you bitch. I have money on so you, you're Larry. Do Mario Party, Mario Kart, Mario Golf, Mario Baseball. You talked all that shit. All that mad shit, and now you're just conceding. Yeah, you're, oh, I'm gonna lose in style. I've got money on you winning, Larry. You better be practicing, or I'm gonna kick your ass from here. Yeah. Fifty CC is my for ass bitch and 50 players, CC, man. You dumb cunt. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're we're playing one fifty. Larry, could you do me a favor? Could you uh, pop into the voice chat? I think Larry on. just needs to nut up and be a Chad, man. Mm. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. Larry's for being a bit of yeah, a Yeah, it's 4 a.m. Pup, 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 pussy. Pup, 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 pussy. Pussy, pup, pup, pussy. Now, right, right there, that's some puss. Drugs are bad. Pussy. <laughs> 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 When you're when you're in Brazil, hey, he can join Bar. Bar's Why not are in you Brazil. Going to Brazil. Brazil's Bar isn't in Brazil for one thing. For another thing, Brainwash is. Oh, Brainwash is in Brazil. My bad. Yeah, just because Brazil was a Portuguese colony doesn't mean that Bar is associated with it. No, I thought Bar lived in Brazil. Where does he live? Somewhere else. Portugal. Portugal. Yeah. Specifically, he lives <laughs> on an island off the coast of Portugal. Yeah. That's and he hooks up with all the hot uh, tourists. Famous for its wine. Although, Barr does approve of Brazilian women. This I know. Oh, yeah. Everybody approves of Brazilian women. Right? <laughs> Except for Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because their women are so good that their fives are tens everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. I knew a man who didn't. Larry knows what's up. Brazil women. He didn't last very long. Your boyfriend? I am. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you left yourself wide open for that Shut one. Shut up. Grab a brush, put a little makeup. Why'd you leave, Why'd you leave the keys, on the, keys on the table? And that hey, went nowhere. Richie, it's your turn. Carry the show. I gotta pee. So it, it's the skull show where we let him. Let's read an article. Successfully talk. <laughs> nope, nope. It's Ready? all on your own unless you can pull up the article. Yeah, you did say you were going to run the show. No, I asked if I can run the show. This is your this is your uh, interview. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm not seeing any skills displayed so far. Gotta say, not impressed. <laughs> I 
I do have to ask, did, did Jables end up buying that Arby's vodka? It's not available in this state. I, I forgot it was yet. a thing. Oh, it's sold out. How does that sell out? That amazes me. Because oh, it, America. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. They made about one to 2,000 probably uh, in terms of units so that it would sell out in a couple of days. And uh, as long as you don't include the number of bottles, we sold out in within 48 hours. Sounds really impressive. Yeah, yeah but... it, it was a it was a publicity stunt. I do want a bottle of it, but I wasn't able to get a bottle. Of it. It's basically yeah, I wasn't either. It's basically the sadder version of the giant peanut butter cup that we covered last week. Oh, I that would that. be cool. I would eat the peanut hey, butter cup. So would Larry, I. Larry, Larry, I'm looking at you. Buy me a bottle of that Dude. curly fry vodka. You like, probably want an eBay for cheaper price. Ha! You don't know how scalpers work, motherfucker. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's not how that works at all. My god. Even the Gim thought tree. Of... My bad. Gim tree. Like, ugh. Again, I scalpers. Think... Curly fries aren't yeah. great to begin with, and then you put them in vodka. Hey! You're me! Right. Oh, oh, fucking mouth. Curly this fries thing. are fucking the greatest thing that ever happened to a potato. They are better than thing. any regular french fry you can <laughs> name. I, I would not say the greatest thing, but absolutely up there. It's it, it's in contention. I'm yeah. not saying I'm no, against like, them, I'm just saying. Like, the greatest thing, for me, the greatest thing that's ever happened to potatoes is, like, true hash browns, but... Yeah. No, potato oh, Curly wedges. fries are pretty up there. Potato wedges. Yeah. No, hash browns. No, uh, Has cur curly fries are just a uh, more consumable potato wedge. So, go for yep, it. yeah, same seasoning. I just would more eat manageable. buffalo wild wings, potato wedges all day, every day. You know, actually, the difference the difference the difference, the difference is that a potato wedge is a lot of potato flesh and then some seasoning, whereas a curly fry is a lot of seasoning. With a curled potato flesh, it can get more yeah. seasoning on it, which is why they're better than the wedges. It seems like Larry and I here are the only ones with a, a refined palate. So what? Larry knows what's up. You know, you can call it refined all you want, but just because you put bleach on it as a kid multiple times and completely destroyed your taste buds... That's not refined. No, Larry, Larry's saying they soak up more grease. How are they better? They soak up more grease, you dumb cunt. The grease is where health conscious, is. fine. <laughs> if you're health conscious, fine. Fair enough. But if you're there talking you about go. flavor, oh. I will say this. I will say this. There's not been a once. One time where I've seen someone crying and having a bad day while eating a curly fry. There he, there Look, I, I would that's chug that's that. A, that's in favor. That's in favor of the curly fry. <laughs> no, but Larry, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, the grease is absolutely an important factor in things. When fucking it's... McDonald's changed their fucking fry oil to take the trans fats out, guess what happened? Their fries fucking suck now. All the flavor is gone. Because they finally changed the oil. Take pretzels, for example. Yeah, it'd be, it was the first time they changed the oil in 50 years. <laughs> well, he, here's the other thing. When Guinness moved to another place, people complained that it didn't taste the same. You know what they found out? There were dead rat carcasses in the fucking brewery. That's what made the flavor. So they started adding meats to the distill to the fucking uh, tanks so that it would taste the same. Yeah, 
pussy. I didn't use a P word. I'll use the P word. Which yeah, P I'll word? Go. Which P the word, Cat? The only cats? reason I'm not using the N word right now is because we're on Twitch. That's and also, he's got a black co-star. Yeah, that's that's it. That's literally the only reason why I'm not using the N-word right now. Because we're on All right. Twitch. All right. And he's got a black co-star. You know what? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, pretzel. pretzel. You know, bread in a yeah. in a shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's bread. Yeah, I know how to tie a knot too. Yeah, who the fuck <laughs> cares about pretzels? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're good bread, but they're still bread. Yep. Yeah. It's I'd a specific it type of bread, but it is bread. Query, <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're supposed to have them with a drink, Larry. <laughs> you don't just sit there and eat pretzels by themselves. You know, you know what's really weird? I can talk about fucking Rimshi in the ass and coming on his back, but I can't say the N word. <laughs> it's a really weird situation. Well, we all know that I would be on top. Eh, debatable. I think we love each other. We'd six and nine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> now that's what I call mutual combat. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 you know what? I, I actually, like, no one one thing I one thing I learned. Bread, tonight, bread, is, bread. Yeah, bread. Breadmaster is just a less funny Sean. <laughs> I still like bread, though. Oh, he popped no, in yesterday. Bread. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. In. No, no, no. Like, if you really want to trigger cats, you have to put the two words together. Pretzel bun. Pretzel but, bun. Right. Pretzel <laughs> bread. bread. Pretzel bread. No, she got triggered by bread. buns the other day, too. <laughs> Because somebody and said the buns are, are bread, the and she got person. pissed off. <laughs> Which, now. by the way, buns are in fact bread. They are, and so and, is what pretzels are made out of. And a good pretzel bun is pretty bread. fantastic too. Oh, I yeah. never had pretzel, pretzel bread bun. is great. Hold on, I never <laughs> had a pretzel bun since bread. I ate the pretzel bun bread. at the Guar Bar, and it was delicious. Bread, bread. Bread, 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 bread. Come on, chant with me, guys. Bread, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with mm. us? Uh, and, for example, that's why I'm the funny one. Uh, <laughs> hey, Dina! Dina? Perfect timing. Hey, Man, Dina. if only we could get bread to actually show up here after that. <laughs> so I, this I, I, I could, God damn it, Sean! I have his number. I could call him, but I think he's working right now. Yeah. <laughs> Submissive oh, man, incredible. Are I you talking about cats or Jables with that one, Sean? <laughs> oh, Jables. Bread is off today. Oh, bread's off today. Yeah, I saw him in Writers. <sighs> <sighs> And I'll be back. I gotta piss. Well, the show's yeah, over. Uh, wait, Bye. while you while you're out pissing, get Red to come over here. Oh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Specifically into the chat, we have our Canadian agents. 
<laughs> he's not Canadian, though. Canucks? He, he's just the, the Canadian America. I... You know, one thing that I just realized is, like, most of our audience is not American. And... Yeah. Even though, we did the, even though we did that whole, like, uh, playing the national anthem last week. Or was that the week before? Week before. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, even though we did that, still, a majority of our audience is not American. <laughs> and a majority of them also were like, Fuck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> No, the EU does not run this bitch. They're just so subservient, they need a couple of, uh, a, a trio of Americans to tell them what to do, Larry. Yeah, you wanna... We uh, are the alphas! Uh, I'm, a, I'm a marine, a drug addict, and a, uh... I don't know what's Choose your words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't want to break TOS. I'd call you a f f f uh, uh, otherwise. But, well, uh, he's not a fluffer. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a top. But <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not fluffer boy. A marine, a druggy, and a uh, uh, fage yogurt. Um, running a show that has an audience that is mostly not American. Very strange combo. And with their <laughs> powers combined, they create chaos! They create Europeans! <laughs> they create pretzel buns. If you're American when uh, before you go into the bathroom, and American when you come out of the bathroom, what are you in the bathroom? Please don't European. make it everybody loves French. <laughs> oh, <God>. European! <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Oh, I... Yeah, Larry, I don't know if you've caught on through the months and months of listening to this show. I I say Fage Yogurt, so I don't say another word. That would probably get us all. Ah, that's a TOS violation. Yeah, a TOS Whatever. violation. I was going to say demonetize, but... Yeah, you wouldn't be demonetized. You don't get paid. <laughs> yeah. We also weren't monetized. <laughs> not yet um, not yet look unless start, people start realizing that this is just a big massive fucking joke half the time Jable says offensive stuff to be funny and fails uh, and that yeah. makes it even more wow. funny <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't want to. I don't want like my jokes to be explained to other people. Yeah, my favorite Jables jokes are the ones that nobody laughs at. <laughs> I, I really don't appreciate the kind of hatred that's coming at me right now. <laughs> yeah, well, Jables those are when is he's the, the most funny, funny one. I'm the most hilarious one. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, Jable's jokes. Skull, you, skull, you better, you better watch your fucking words. Fifty right bits now. from Cats and Lady. I hate you. Have some bits. Thank you, Cats. Yay, fifty cents. What I was about to say, Jables. Most of the time, your jokes do put me in a better mood. All right. Well, that's see? a ringing fucking endorsement. Uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I feel I, like I we have to like abandon that. the show now. Really, is Nick live? No. Yes. No, he is he? Okay, he just went live. Up on my head. No, uh, I was saying, what I was saying is, we, we make, we make Skull's <clears throat> day better. We, we have to end the show. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. So oh, sick of the hobos. I don't know, man. I mean, if we ended the show just to spite Skull, what the fuck would we do afterwards? Uh, go well, to Nick's show? Yeah, I have another show to do. Hey, everybody, thank you for joining us uh, for the Lost Saints Discord. It's been fun. We actually didn't cover any articles, which is good, because I didn't really find any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody have a good night uh, enjoy the raid on the next channel I'll be over on that show you can follow Rimshi at Rimshi01 <clears throat> on Twitter or you can just follow me so you can get show updates for everything that I do I yeah. love you guys yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed that I've gotten so many likes on Twitter at this point it's not cool stop liking my shit Let's go ready. Like Stop I'll responding to easy targets. <laughs> All right. I got.